which FPS implies. Well, that's great, isn't it? J the solution you're probably thinking about is just to try to show a real side-by-side -side footage wherever you can, but there is a glaring problem with this, and it's one of the reasons why I still lean more towards showing bar charts for performance and comparisons. You see, when I'm recording footage, I will use an overlay like Rivatuner Statistics to show stats like FPS, frame times, and hardware stats pertaining to the system components. This can include stuff like the GPU clock speed, GPU temperature, power, the CPU usage on a per thread basis, the CPU clocks, memory usage, and even more than that. These are all great stats to have access to because it really shows you how different games behave and interact with your hardware. Some games will show really high GPU usage and power draw others will show you how much they scale with multiple CPU cores and threads and this helps you to get a better understanding of how performance differentiates between different games and hardware. The issue with this is that monitoring these stats it costs resources and it will affect your performance and depending on the nature of that particular sensor or stat the degree to which it affects performance is going to vary. 